Hey vlog, it is the second week of 2019 and we've got a lot to talk about this week. So the week started with me shipping off both of the sheep. Just leaving the FedEx store, just shipped one of my first commission for the year. So it's kind of exciting. It's also a little, little crazy. I don't usually do commissions um, just because, well, I don't know that I really have a good reason. But uh, I did this time, I just sent off the baby sheep and they're up, up, up and away. I'm gonna miss them, they're so cute. And so I am going to have to make myself another one. I haven't started on that yet. I've been working on putting the pattern together um, and that's going really well. There are a couple things that while going through the pattern that I was like, mm, when I make my second one, I'm gonna need to check this and this and just kind of make sure that um, this works out as seamlessly as possible. But that's how that's going. Um, also, last week I asked you guys if you guys want to do a crochet along in July, you know, like Christmas in July or early Nove November slash early December for Christmas, and almost unanimously everyone said July. There was one person who said November and there were two people who said they wouldn't mind if I did both July and November, which, I mean, we'll see how the year goes. That could be fun, but I'm not making any promises. So July it is, and I don't know if there's like an official like Christmas in July day, um, but we'll just plan on the crochet along being around July. Um, so the next question is, I you know I asked to to get some feedback on what you guys might want to make, and there were a lot of ideas, which was awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, but there were five that were said multiple times. So I'm going to try something new. Um, because we reached a thousand subscribers on this channel, we um, now have a community tab. So I'm pretty sure under that I can make a poll and I'm going to put the different options and have you guys pick which one you want. Um, and whichever one gets the highest we'll do in July and if we have time to do one in November We'll do whatever the second one is for November. Like I said, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but maybe so um, So the five were the baby sheep that might be just because that's what I'd shown last week And so that was fresh on everyone's mind um, a pig a, the elephant a puppy or a bunny I had to write them down because I couldn't remember. <laughs> so yeah, so those are the five and I will, I will create a poll. So go over there and cast your vote and we'll figure out what it is we're going to make in July. So on to what I've been crocheting this week. I, I have something that I kind of, I kept a s secret from the vlog last year. Um, and it's a good thing that I did because I didn't end up like doing anything with it until this year. I started in September last year. Um, and so, yeah, I started working on a baby panda pattern. Um, and it's this, what I'm going to show you is a little ugly, so I'm sorry. Um, but this is how far I had, well, I'd gotten the, the, body and the snout on in September and I'd made the arms and legs um, but I just barely attached them the other night I can't remember exactly when um, <clears throat> and clearly I've let my daughter play with it because it's dirty anyway if you want something to stay clean don't let a two-year-old touch it you probably already know that <laughs> um, so so I, like I said, I'd made the body, I'd made the arms and legs, I just hadn't attached them. Um, and so I, I had them, so I just went ahead and attached them the other day. And I was looking at it 
through a more critical lens and I was like, you know what? I don't like this shape. I like the arms and legs, but the arms are too short for the body. The body is too, um, it's too big for how the arms sit and the head is too small and I don't like the shape in relation to the body, which is why I haven't finished it. Um, I, I probably will finish it because my daughter likes playing with it. So I'll give it, you know, the eyes and the ears and the nose and everything. Um, I just haven't yet. Um, <clears throat> and so using this as kind of my, my datum of things I want to change, I have been working a little bit on, on this baby panda. And so this one clear, I mean, they're kind of like the inverse of each other. Um, but this one, I, I made the body a little bit smaller. I tapered it a little bit better so the arms will, will lay more flat. Um, on this one, I don't have the ears on clearly, but I made the ears too small. And so like they're better on this one. And also for this pattern, I made the eye markings too big. And so I made them, you know, fit a little bit better on this one. And so it's been a tweaking process, like saying, uh, you know, this one has these qualities and, and, you know, I like this or I don't like this and then translating it into this one. So that is where we are. Um, I am, I'm pretty happy with this one. I would say the one thing I don't love at the moment, and this is just, you know, my fault, user error. Um, the fleece that I'm using, I was able to get this eye with just the, like the horizontal lines, but this one has a little bit more of pattern to it. Um, so I'm actually using the same fleece that I used on this one. And so like I got kind of these lines here in this eye, and I'm afraid it makes it a, look a little bit like, like a Dalmatian puppy or something with a patch and spots on its eye. Anyway, I don't know. Part, part of me is like, oh, I kind of like it. Another part of me is like, meh, it could have been better. So, so that's where that is. Um, also in a little bit of my spare time, I've been working on the flamingo pattern and getting that ready for testers. And so, um, one of the things I knew I would have to do was, was it test the neck at least one more time because it was pretty intense. <sighs> Honestly, it's actually very simple. All you do is, is half double crochets here and then, um, slip stitches on this side. But why it was a little bit in, intense is because crocheting naturally curves. And so you have to, I mean, it's not just, you know, a lot of rows of, you know, four half double crochets and four slip stitches. You, it's like three half double crochets, four slip stitches, one half double crochet. And then you do that one more time and then it, it rotates to two half double crochets, four single cr slip stitches, two half double crochets. Anyway, that's probably confusing, but <clears throat> long story short, because, because the neck twists, you have to adjust how, how you're doing your stitches. And so I needed to make sure that at least it works for me. Um, I'm, it might be really interesting on testing when I send it out. I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if how much the, the crocheting starts to curve is based on just the way I crochet. And if someone else does it, is it, you know, is, if their tension's a little bit different, will it be way different? I'm not sure. So this one is going to be a little bit of a, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's going to be interesting. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So another thing I want to talk about is something new I want to do this year. I last, last year I had this idea to do a podcast to interview other YouTube crochet creators and get to know them a little bit better and just kind of have like a little interview show. 
uh, where we talk to crocheters about crochet, about their lives, about, you know, all sorts of different things. Um, and so I reached out to Seta at Seta's place. She's awesome. And, and she was like, yeah, of course I'll do this. And so I did an interview with her, which I smiled way too much because I was nervous. Um, but you know, that's kind of my response to nerves. Um, but, but it went pretty well and I, I didn't do anything. Well, I edited it, but obviously I haven't posted it because I, I wasn't sure, you know, I, so I've just been sitting on it for like three or four months, <laughs> just like trying to decide, do I, do I actually do something with this? Do I not? I'm, I'm not sure. And I have decided that yes, I'm going to try. This is, this is completely new for me. This, it, it will be interesting, but I want to do um, a podcast. So my, I guess, goal for this year will just be to interview one other YouTube creator a month. And so that's, I mean, it's not like the most auspicious um, goal by any means, but, but if I try and do more, I think I'll get overwhelmed and scared. So I'm, I'm just going to try and do that. So I'm going to be posting that podcast on Wednesday. I would love for you guys to check it out. And also if you know of any other YouTube creators or if you are yourself a YouTube creator and you would like to, to be interviewed, um, let me know. You can either comment below or you can email me Valerie at oldsoulcrochetcompany.com and that will be in the link below. Uh, so one other goal I have for this year is to do one month where I vlog every day. Uh, I know a lot of creators out there do that. Um, there's like vloguary going on right now. Um, I have no idea what May is called, but I'm thinking of doing like vlog a day May because uh, May is my birthday month. And so I like it a little bit more than the other months. And um, I think it could be fun to just be a little bit more raw and also show you a little bit more behind the scenes of you know what I do with crochet every day um so yeah th those are kind of my year goals so eight patterns at least one crochet along 12 podcasts and one month of vlog every day so it's going to be an exciting year so next week I'll probably have this baby panda done and I'll probably have this one done too, but I mean, that will just be for my daughter to play with. Um, and, and if I play my cards right, I will also have the pattern done as well. So I can go and get that tested soon as well. So, um, so that's what I've got for this week. Um, I hope you guys had a lovely and productive week and take care. I will talk to you next time. Bye.